Oh, hey, hey, everybody, hey, everybody. Welcome back, all you folks, and welcome to you first-timers. This is Mike from Mike's Magic Auto Detailing and Paint Enhancement here in a semi-sunny Sharpsburg, Georgia, which according to the weather report, that's not going to last. <laughs> but hi, everybody, hi. Thanks those to you who are taking time out of your busy busy days to drop by and watch my boring videos yep and the construction dudes are still around I'm not sure what the heck they're all doing they come and go come and go but here is my I was gonna say our my new <laughs> project folks this is a two Oh, somebody's watching. This is a 2006 Acura RSX, I believe they call it. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Short story is, is that the owner bought this thing used sometime back. The paint, he said, was kind of trashed. So as I understand it, him and his son repainted it themselves. His son, I think, did most of that. He used to work in a body shop, as I understand it. Uh, but, you know what? Overall, if this were my car, I would be very pleased with this paint job. Uh, from back here, it looks really, really good. Not bad at all. A very good job as far as laying the paint down. <clears throat> they wet sanded it themselves. And then the son, <laughs> the son, I don't mean to laugh at him, he compounded it or buffed it with a rotary buffer. Oh boy, and therein lies the problem. He didn't know how to finish it down. So I don't know if you guys can pick any of this up in the camera, but there's all kinds of hazy spots and buffer trails and all that kind of stuff where he did not finish down. I'm not sure if any of that's showing up in this lighting, but there are buffer trails, holograms as we call them. And you can see this kind of a light spot right there. That's just where the clear coat is scratched from polish or buffing it with a rotary buffer. <laughs> But, you know, he did a pretty fair job. He just didn't know how to finish down. Uh, you can see some spotting right there. Yeah, when the sun's out, or you got better light, you can really, really see holograms all the way down this side. I'm not sure if they're showing up. Kind of hard to get them on camera, this color paint. Uh, let me grab my swirl finder light. Let's see if we can spot them. So my goal, my job, is I am going to have to strip wash it and maybe, I'll check it over, maybe do some light clay barring on it. Oh, I think you can see that stuff showing up now. I don't know if you guys can or not. But a terrible terrible job but you get down here you can see the swirl marks uh, this camera it doesn't like me rotating my device sorry about that chiefs but maybe you can see some of that I'm not sure <laughs> but in direct sunlight it looks even worse I can see all that scratching 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 and some micro marring, I think, from where they may have washed it. <sighs> With some improper wash methods. That's pretty much evident throughout the whole vehicle. <laughs> uh, you can even see on top of the spoiler there. Uh, some buffer haze, as somebody, some folks call it. But you know what? This is fixable, folks. This is fixable. 
I forget how much paint there is from when I put the paint thickness gauge on it, but it's not terrible. Oh boy, I don't know if y'all can see all that scratching or not. Uh, I can't tell what's showing up on camera and what's not. I don't know. But uh, there are some other scratches that are not from buffing, probably from washing or something like that, but those should go away as well. Oh boy. So I'll be attacking all that and maybe these pillar posts a little bit. They try to resurrect this rubber trim here. I don't know. We shall see. <laughs> oh man. All the plastic and vinyl is kind of faded, which is typical. Typical, typical. <laughs> a vent cowl, really bad shape. So I'll be have to work on that as well. Maybe do a little topical polishing on the glass. We'll see after we get it strip washed how good or bad it is. The headlights aren't terrible. They tell me they sanded them down, I think he said, and re-clear coated them. I can tell they've been re-cleared because it's ah, got kind of an orange peely surface to it. So I won't be doing too much to those. It's acceptable. Of course, that one came out a whole lot better than that one. <laughs> um, I'm going to have to get in there and get all that plastic stuff down in there. That circulation area there <laughs> oh boy oh boy oh. but I can see buffer trails over I'd say 100% of this car uh, there's some deeper scratching there I can't tell what I'm getting on the screen here because the sun's so bright give that the fingernail test most of that should go away with a little bit of wet sand damp sanding with some 3000 grit should probably make that all go away oh man oh boy oh boy got my work cut out for me again i'm fixing this about to strip wash it which is generally the first step sometimes it's hard to know what you really have till you get it absolutely clean of course then if it needs you know i'll check and with some decon spray and see if it really needs deconning. This car lives indoors, so shouldn't be too bad. It hadn't been but a little over a month since they repainted it. So it shouldn't be bad. Shouldn't be a whole lot of contaminants on it. But I'll check and see. Do a few test spots. You don't want to take do any of those steps if you don't need to. And then after I get done with that and get it all dry, I'll do the baggy test to see if there's any contaminants on it and if there are I will clay bar just the areas that need it uh, so that when I get ready to get started buffing I'll know that everything is gone and it won't die yeah, you can get some of that stuff off buffing but it's going to eat your pads and ruin your pads it'll just eat them up uh, a lot of light spot right there a lot of scratching in the clear coat but it's not serious in my opinion it should come out we shall see all right folks thank you time for me to get at it here of course i'm gonna have to move this i'm gonna have to move sally probably over there somewhere and i'm gonna put this under the canopy try to get it out of direct sunlight so much easier to wash it when it's out of direct sunlight but we'll see you know what they say like tag share follow subscribe give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down <laughs> if you please <laughs> make some comments i appreciate everybody thank you have a great